Um, we're going to go ahead and put the diff together now. Uh, I told you guys to fill it up on part one. What I really mean is you just want to fill it just above the cross pins on the inside. Go ahead and, and move the diff around, get all the air bubbles out, set it back down. It should fill in a little bit back above that pin. Okay, and then I have my ble I have my air my bleeder screw out up here. So when I put the two together, I just let the air out of the diff. That way we aren't creating any pressure in there. So we're going to slip it right together like so. Put the bleeder screw in. And make sure that little o-ring doesn't squirt out the side of that bleeder screw. Then you're going to go on with your drive gear diff gear, whatever gear you want to call it that goes in the transmission here. And then I put the screw gun on a on a light torque setting. So we're just going to snug them all up before we torque them down. Another thing I do when I have this apart is I change the, the drive gears. If there's any wear marks in your drive gears then you're going to want to flip flop them before they wear too deep. If they wear too deep and your uh, and your diff has will take a beating because your dry your bone will be pulling in and out on your diff. So you're going to want to uh, switch those up. I usually take a Dremel and grind all the sharp marks off them, and that way the forward rotation part of the diff looks really good. So there you go. You got a built diff. Should be smoother than it was. You guys can kind of see pretty smooth diff got going there. All right, Shredhead signing out. See you at the races.